Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Jenny and this is Arnold the Paying Penguin and today we are back for a new instalment of Penguins Choose My TBR. If you've never seen a Penguins Choose My TBR video before, I have a whole playlist of them which I will link down below and on the screen. But basically this is a game that I play or used to play each month for the Penguins to choose the books I was going to read each month. We've taken a bit of a break while I had a baby and haven't really been reading that much honestly. But we are back today to start this TBR game up again with a little bit of a difference. So instead of doing every single month, having a new TBR, we're going to be doing this seasonally. So we're going to do summer, winter, autumn, spring, that's not the order that seasons go in, but you know what I mean. Today we're going to be choosing my summer TBR. And following this pattern I'm also going to be sharing the books that I have read each season as seasonal blog posts over on the blog, and I'll link that down below as well for you to find the books that I've read so far this year, because I haven't been doing seasons up till now, and most of them were in January anyway, so... It's just books that I've read so far. But to start with, we're going to do a little recap of the game to make sure we all know what's going on and how to play. So this is the board that we play with, as you can see. It's basically the Southern Hemisphere, and we're kind of travelling around these different countries by rolling the dice and moving a little penguin around the board. He doesn't fall over. We're going to be starting back on the Arnold spot as we're starting kind of a new version of doing this but there's lots of different things that we can land on around the board so we have these green penguin spots and they all relate to a specific genre of book and then if we land on those we have to read a book from that genre so if we land on Humboldt penguin we have to read a contemporary book if we land on yellow-eyed penguin we need to read a non-fiction if we land on a fjordland penguin we need to read a fantasy or sci-fi book. If we land on Rock Copper Penguin, we need to read a literary book. If we land on Gen 2 Penguin, then we need to read a Christian book, and that can be non-fiction or fiction. If we land on African Penguin, then we need to read a thriller or mystery. If we land on Galapagos Penguin, we need to read a historical fiction. If we land on Adelaide Penguin down here, we need to read a romance. If we land on Blue Penguin, we need to read a children's middle grade or young adult book. And if we land on Macaroni Penguin, this is a wild card, so we can choose absolutely any book that we like. Next up, we have these blue places that we can land on, and these are all character penguins. So penguins from books, from films, TV shows. So for this one, if we land on Monty the Penguin, this is Monty from the John Lewis advert a few years ago, and so if we land on him, we need to choose a book relating to food or animals theme. That is kind of, these are just themed rather than quite specific, so it can be anything to do with food or animals, either in terms of in the book, on the cover, in the title, anything like that. Then if we land on Mumble the Penguin over here, that is Mumble from Happy Feet of course, so if we land on Mumble, we need to choose a book with a theme relating to the arts or music. Then we have Pingu, of course. This is Pingu from the TV series, back from when I was a child, I vaguely remember Pingu. If we land here, we have to choose a book from a series. And then finally, if we land on Madagascar Penguins, these are obviously the penguins from the film Madagascar, and they've had many a spin-off since then. But if I land on here, I need to choose translated fiction. You may notice a few little tweaks to those since I last played, but those are what we're going to do starting from now. And then you'll have seen on the board we also have yellow, orange and red dots that we can land on. And that is where my little penguin jar comes in. And in this jar, his head comes off and we rummage around and we have yellow, red and orange pieces of paper that we can pull from and so if we land on yellow we have to pull out a yellow piece of paper and so on. So what these mean is if we have a red piece of paper these are all books from my owned TBR so books that I have that I own that I can read from and it just has the title of each book on these pieces of paper and so pull them out and then we read that book. Very straightforward. Then if we have a yellow piece of paper, these are prompts. So these are quite open prompts. It could be things like under 200 pages or beautiful cover or something like that. 
It gives me quite a broad choice still, but it kind of directing me to find a book based on that prompt. And then finally, we have our orange pieces of paper. And these are more challenge based prompts. So this will usually direct me to one book or a very small selection of books that I need to choose from. So these will be things like random number generator to find the page count of the book I need to read and then I find the book with the closest page count. Or it could be looking on the story graph and finding the book that has the highest rating. Things like that. And so now that we're doing seasonal TBRs and I'm also still kind of easing back into reading, we're going to be doing roughly two books per month. So about six books per season every three months. But today we're picking books for July and August and a little bit of June because I'm doing this kind of at the end of June. So today we're going to be picking five books or five prompts to get five books. If any of the positioning or lighting or anything has changed just now, that is because my battery died and then my baby woke up. So now we're on to next nap time and we're back. I can't really remember what it caught me saying at the end of last time, but basically we're going to do five rounds to choose five books and we're going to get started with round one now. Okay, let's roll the dice for round one. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Blue-eyed penguin. Okay, so it's not blue-eyed penguin at all, it's blue penguin. Uh, so for this one we have to choose either a children's, a middle grade or a young adult book to read. So I'm going to consult my TBR list. Okay, so for a lot of my books I'm not 100% sure whether they're classed as adult or young adult or whatever, but for this one I've decided I'm gonna go for The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse, because I think a lot of people do consider this a children's book and to be honest I think it's a great book for all ages. I think it is really good for children, teenagers, adults, absolutely whoever. And it is written and like drawn very well for all ages. So if you haven't heard of this book before, this is by Charlie Mackesy and it's mostly kind of pictures with little kind of one sentence um, phrases, conversations between these different characters. Um, it talks a lot about kind of uh, mental health and reflection and um, things like that. It's been super, super popular and I'm really interested to kind of have a read through it and see what it's all about. And whilst this book isn't particularly kind of Christian in like an obvious way, I've come across Charlie Mackesy before for things that he's done in a kind of Christian context. So I'm interested to see whether kind of his faith kind of shines through this and kind of how that comes across. Okay, round two. And we're rolling the dice again. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay red. So we bring out our penguin jar. A rummage. Let's grab a red piece of paper. A Thousand Splendid Suns. Okay so this is A Thousand Splendid Suns by Calatasini and I read The Kite Runner by Calatasini last year and really loved it so I am I'm really excited to start reading this and I think I think I've heard more people talk about this one and talk about how great it is. And this, I believe, is about two women, yes, and their friendship. So it seems like maybe a similar dynamic to The Kite Runner, but with women instead of boys, if that makes sense. Okay, round three. Rolling. Five again. Okay, that's three fives in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Red again. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of choice. Operation Mayhem. Okay, so this is Operation Mayhem by Steve Heaney uh, with Damien Lewis, and this is a non fiction book about a battle in Africa. Yeah, British soldiers in Africa. So I'm not quite sure what I'm expecting from this, whether I'm expecting it to be any good. I had got it a long time ago, it's not a particularly recent book, so. I'm interested to see how this turns out. I'm very unsure, to be honest, but we'll see. Okay, two more. Round four. Rolling the dice for round four. And we got four. Okay, we're not stuck on five anymore. One, two, three, four. But we are stuck on red. Okay, red again. Ah. 
A Long Petal of the Sea. Okay, so this is A Long Petal of the Sea by Isabel Allende, and this is firstly a gorgeous book. And this is a historical fiction about some people who are fleeing from the Spanish Civil War and they go to Chile. And it's about kind of their journey there and everything that happens, I believe. So I'm actually very excited to read this one. So hopefully I can fit that one in over the next couple of months. Okay, one more to pick. Okay, so for our fifth and final round, we have two. One, two. Okay, we've got an orange, a challenge prompt. So let's see what our challenge is gonna be. Random number generator, TBR shelf. Okay, fabulous. Okay, so for this one, I have my TBR list in a spreadsheet up on my laptop and I have a random number generator up on my phone. So we're gonna have a look but in the numbers one to 54, because that's how many books I have on my TBR list. And then we're gonna generate a random number, 36. And let's have a look at what book. Okay, so book number 36 is The Next Girl by Carla Kovac, which is a book I have on ebook, on Google Books, so I can read that on my phone, which is gonna be very handy for like while I'm feeding Georgia and just things I can do on the go, which is quite difficult to read a physical book while feeding. But The Next Girl is a thriller and I think it's about a girl who is uh, abducted, potentially more than one person is abducted. We shall find out when we read it. I bought that quite a while ago um, and can't really remember what the description said. But I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you can see it and that is what I'm going to be reading. So we have our five books for summer. This is my summer TBR. We have A Long Petal of the Sea by Isabel Allende. We have Operation Mayhem by Steve Heaney with Damien Lewis. We have A Thousand Splendid Sons by Carlo Tassini. We have The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. And we have The Next Girl by Carla Kovac. So that's five books, quite a variety. I think we've got some historical fiction and some non-fiction and a thriller. And I'm not quite sure what category this book really comes under. Some people call it poetry. I'm gonna read it and then decide how I'm gonna categorize it, I think. But let me know down in the comments if you've read this, what you think about it, and kind of how you would categorize it. But that is it for today's video. Those are the five books that I'm gonna be reading this summer over the next couple of months. Make sure to check back in at the end of August for my autumn TBR and to see on the blog how I got on with reading these books and if I managed to get any other books in there as well. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this, as well as videos about prayer, about exploring the Bible and about living out your faith. Me and Arnold post videos every Saturday. And in the meantime, if you'd like to see some other videos from us, you can check out these videos on screen and we will see you next Saturday for a new video. Bye.